we got our 6 IV ditto already. Now I'm just bored and doing raid battles and seeing if I can just get, like, any kind of compelling Pokemon. I could, like, do den resets and stuff. I'm just kind of, like, letting the game naturally spawn for me and just seeing what happens. Hi, Clefable. <laughs> Let's just try one of these. What? Whoa. Wait. Wait. Did I just break the game? Excuse me? How do we use this to our advantage? So if you're fast, the weather doesn't apply. Like, that doesn't matter because of weather manipulation. But that's still... And he's gone. So... Weather changes the spawn of the overworld Pokemon. If you beat out the weather shift, it will spawn the Pokemon of the other weather. But if you faint or run away from the Pokemon, the entire overworld spawn goes away. Like I said, if, if there wasn't, like, if you couldn't just change the date and then spawn, like, foggy weather and then force the Pokemon to appear, this would be so much more broken. But that's a weird quirk. I feel like this would be most useful for the, um, Aegislash. Like, if it's foggy weather here on Hammerlock Hills, then that means you could maybe, like, rush through and then force spawn the Aegislash, because Aegislash spawns when it's foggy weather here. Let's see if we can make that happen, because that'd be really interesting. Don't give decks to people any ammunition. Too late! I don't even know if we're ever going to find a day where it's foggy on Hammerlock Hills. I don't fucking believe this. Now, what happens if we're fast? Like, really fast. No fucking way! <laughs> what? That says a lot about the spawning mechanics. That's how you caught your first Age of Slash? That's nuts. Huh. 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 So you can just force alternate weather Pokemon. I guess we were late on that. Like, we should have been able to force the uh, Kling. Nah, I think it's too far away. I think it's too Like, even if we turbo through... Uh, yeah, it's gonna be foggy by before we even make it. Let's try that again. Like, we need to find the threshold. Alright, that's the threshold. Then the second we hit that, we speed through. Go! Oh! Nah, too late. Okay, so there's some that are too far away, but there's some that are on the boundaries that are really whacked. Oh! And also, this is a day where you can just catch Hone Edge in the wild like that. Good to know. If you just want a good nature on, like, a Hone Edge or something. But... Here's what makes the the little hack we just discovered kind of worthless. We change okay, January 11th. So we change this to June 1st. The first of every month has global weather. And apparently there's like no time penalty. You just get to do this and do whatever. There's only time penalty if you like go backwards or something. So fog. Wait, Mimic is going to be around here somewhere. That's just the meow. Machamp? I thought Mimikyu spawned in fog, or am I in the wrong spot? I know it's grass encounter, but I thought it was also an overworld. I thought someone said it was overworld. Overworld in Bridgefield? Is it? 
Oh, Sharna though. I just got attacked by a fetus, that felt weird. Yeah, I know Giant's Mirror. Thank you very much for your five dollar donation. But like I said, I thought it was a I thought it was one of these. I thought it was one of those overworld spawns for Mimikyu. Like, on Cerebi, it's it showed Mimikyu as an overworld spawn, so I assumed somewhere in fog. And someone in chat said overworld, but I guess they were wrong. Fog? Special overworld encounter. Yeah, Mimikyu's in the overworld. In Bridgefield somewhere, but I couldn't find it. Fog. Pokemon Sword. Where in Bridgefield is the Mimikyu? It's actually like hiding in the grass. It's not in the open like all of the other ones. Oh, fuck. That's actually amazing. I have a new friend. Hi, friend. Well, like I said, um, shenanigans, but this is why the thing that we just discovered doesn't matter, because you can just change the date to June 1st, 2020, and it's fog everywhere, and then you just get all the special Pokemon spawns. So no, Mimikyu is not a 1% chance. That is the guaranteed 100% Mimikyu right there. And that's why I've been looking for. That's why I spent the last X minutes looking for. Because that's what I could have sworn I saw that. And it has its own little special spot right here. And it only spawns in fog. So that's the easy free Mimikyu. I'm surprised that less people knew about this. If they, if they ever patch like being able to change the date so freely, then that might actually be useful. Because then if you have fog in one area, you can maybe like try to rush and then like... The question would then be, is can we spawn Mimikyu by... Dude, I, I almost feel like we could spawn Mimikyu if we had fog in the Motostoke Riverbank, which was a couple days ago. Or like a couple hours... Wait, let's see if we can force spawn this Mimikyu. That would be nuts. This is tomorrow's video. Even though it's kind of useless, it's still very interesting information. Actually, I'm going to go back one more day, and I'm going to... Res I'm going to raid reset it into the next day. Boom. So now, we find out how we... And that was also a Pinkurchin, not bad. Now we find out if we can force spawn the Mimikyu. So we need to be like right... Nah, that's actually too early. Good. It got in the way. Threshold's pretty generous. Alright, there it is. If we can just run in a straight line from that spot. Whoa. Whoa. Come on, Mimikyu. Come on. Nah, it's the Golisopod. So that's actually insane. Like, we could probably try for hours and not get it. Yeah, it, it transitions too fast. Um, what happens if you keep changing the home? Like, can you can you keep the weather going? Like, what if I do this? Nah, wait. Uh, I want to like I want to like super speed into that. Oh my god! I that almost felt that almost feels like it might be possible. Try online. Doll. Oh my god! If we go online and we lag the game and spawn a Mimikyu. Come on, Wycom. Do it for your boy. Almost. I, I I think I did that too soon. Surprise trade for the slight more lag. Let's do it. Let's just add all the hate into the equation. Uh, let's not get rid of a good Pokemon. You can have a Bergmite. That'll be a surprise. Good chunk of lag, right? Like, I think it's gonna have to, like... Like, what happens if the surprise trade, like, slightly delays the weather? Come on. I, I keep mashing B. Like, mashing B doesn't do anything. You just press it once. And that's it. Oh! 
Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! It's raining, and I have a mimic you. Oh yeah, I'm definitely using this footage. Oh my god. Well then, um... 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 <laughs> How is this on the same level of save scumming? Like, if you just play the game and you go into an area too fast, you force spawn Pokemon. There's- that's not even comparable to save scumming. So now we have to test this, because what I did was I spawned the weather really quick. Like, I- it might not even be-, be wait. We trade completed, though. Was it actually because- did I get the perfect timing? Did I actually get the perfect timing and have that trade get accepted as I crossed? Or was it something else? Because... I think it also might have been the weather. Like, I made it- Foggy, rainy, foggy, rainy, foggy really quick, and then I went in. And that there might have been enough of a weather delay to give us that extra oomph. Yeah, Victor, I think your, like, position theory might be a little off, unless it's correct, in which case this game is completely broken and doesn't even play by its own rules. Okay, there's a glide spot. Yeah, we just need to fly to reset the route. So, okay, we you just need to fly to reset it, or you need to, like, go into a different area or something. Alright, so we have everything working again. Now let's see if we can do this without online lag. So, I need to, I'm just going to like, I'm going to like just play this line. Like, see, I, what I did was I did it really quick. I like changed the weather around really quick. The game doesn't even know what to do. And then, I hit it super fast. No, I'm way off. There's no way. Yeah, there's no way. Okay. So the camera was, I, I don't even know what I did. Like, I janked. Jank happened. So... I also need, like, okay, wait, I can do this with the camera. I can just, like, preempt the camera. There we go. That's what I need to do. And I just kind of, like, looped it around and hung a weird one and then just went for it. Nah. I think you actually need the Wycom lag then. So, changing routes with Wycom while doing a perfectly timed surprise trade is enough to force spawn the Mimikyu. Or maybe it has to be foggy longer. Like, how did I do this? Like, so yeah, see how it's like, how it's not kind of changing enough? I think I need to have the fog up here. Did it. So, okay, you need to have the fog animation start. And then the fog animation needs to complete before the fog animation starts to go away. Stream's over, my dudes. Thank you for joining. 